Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Yashala, Koholo Yimla, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rikah HaKadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Aki and in Aqua. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Shah Waf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I just wanted to touch on, um, this health regimen, so to speak, you know, because the, um, the apostles have been talking about that quite a bit as of late. All the brothers, you know, the, um, have been doing lessons on, you know, eating better, exercising, you know, drinking more water, um, you know, just things that are healthy to the temple because our bodies are the temple of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And so I had actually seen a video that just kind of inspired me to. You know, just check out fruits and vegetables and like beans and stuff where, you know, I was going to give it a go for about 30 days, you know, just just to see what was up. So I got a, you know, a good juice or so, you know, was able to grab different types of fruits, vegetables, make little uh, smoothies, um, juices. And, you know, but generally, I you know, I'm not I like beans and they have, uh, you know, a nice 15 bean soup. I think I spoke on that before. Um, but, you know, just different things like that. You know, trying different fruits and different vegetables. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's a variety of stuff. But, you know, I know a lot of the times we don't get to it. And one of the things that I've noticed since I stopped eating meat for these past, it's been like seven, eight, maybe nine days now. I've lost almost like 10 pounds, <laughs> literally. And what, you know, scripture came to mind today was, because I was thinking about it. They got this little, uh, they got like one of these, you know, like the type, the 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 um the scales that you, they have at the doctors. I don't know if they still have those particular type of scales, but you know, the one you, you get on and you got to tap it. It's got like that weight bar to it. So, uh, you know, I've been kind of jumping on that at the plantation. They got one in, um, you know, the um, locker room or, you know. So, uh, you know, been jumping on there and I've, you know, I've dropped about 10 pounds within like eight, nine days. And I notice a difference in my energy. I notice a difference in just how I feel. So when I noticed that, um, the scripture came to mind. Uh, what is that? Yeah, uh, this scripture. Because I remember the apostles talking about this before. And I was like, you know, I do eat too much meat. Way too much meat. Because I can remember one time my dad asked me. He was like, you still love meat like how you used to when you was a kid? I was like, what you mean? He was like, that's all you would eat. And I definitely, you know, had a thing for, <laughs> hey, I busted some meat down without anything else. I don't even make no, you know, I need nothing else. I didn't need it or didn't even want anything else. But, you know, I thought about this scripture today when I jumped on that scale. Uh, Ecclesiastes 37, also known as the book of Sirach, or Sirach. Uh, verse 29, I'm going to start there. It says, be not insatiable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meats. See? For excess of meats bringeth sickness, and suffering will turn into a colon. So I looked up those words, because of course you know what I'm saying. Uh, this particular app, you know, it's not like the, uh, the blue letter. So, you know, I just went off into, I Googled it. This one right here was the meaning of um, cola. Let me see here. It's a lot here. And in the Hebrew. Yeah, let me see here. I wanted to see if they had one. But it's basically saying anger, wrath, irritation of the passion. Col cholera, morbus, a sudden evacuation of bile. Both upwards, let me see, damn, and downward. Oh, it says bile is used in the sense of a disease. Sirach 31, and they actually got it in here. Oh, they got it. Oh, I didn't know it was in Sirach um, 31 and 20 as well. I had to go there. It's a lot. And then, of course, I forgot about that, too. That's good, too. Um, I see Daniel. They're probably going off, you know, what they, they have, what they call the Daniel diet. With Daniel and, um, you know, um, the Akiyam, they were eating posts. Remember, they went before the king. 
I mean, they, you know, the, the guy that was over them, you know, Daniel was telling them, you know, hey, look, we don't want to eat from the king's table. Let us do this, 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 and this. And it was actually saying, I might have to go into this. Let me see, Salakia. Let's, uh, let's see which one this is. I didn't, you know, this, that's a spirit, though. I didn't know it was going to um, go off into the, that definition like that and then see it. Yeah, let's get what we can get out of it, man. Because like, I've been seeing the apostles, they've been going hard. And, and, and hey, they, hey, hey, they the older gentlemen, man, you know, still in good shape, still got their wits, still sharp. And that's beautiful, man. And, you know, they passing that wisdom down to us. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Oh, they do mention this in here. I didn't know it was in the blue letter. Verse 7, Daniel 8 and 7, it says, I saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with Kohler against him, and smote the ram. Okay, all right, all right, that's what they got for that. Um, I think it was, what was it, 11? 1? It's like, yeah, let me go back real quick. No, it was 11 and 11. Let's see what they got here. Okay, it says the king was moved with Kohler. Okay, all right, all right. I did want to see. Let's get this. Um, let's see what it says in this Sirach 31 and 20. And we'll come right back to uh, 31 and 20. Let's see what that says. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, now, this, this is what we need. Because I, I do remember this now. Ecclesiasticus 31 and 20, also known as the book of Sirach. Sound sleep cometh of moderate eating. He riseth early, and his wits are with him, but the pain of watching and choler and pangs of the belly are with an unsatiable man. And there you have that word um, unsatiable again. You know, basically just kind of going off into um, not having self-control. Just over overdoing it, and also putting this on um, word suffering too. Let's go back real quick because they also had that word suffering. Is it 30, 37? See, they got on um, verse 29 again. It says, Be not unsatiable in any dainty thing, nor too greedy upon meats, for excess of meats bringeth sickness and suffering. We'll turn it to Kohler. Okay, so now let's get that word because I looked that one up as well. Uh, suffering in um, the Hebrew. Mm. It's kind of what it's saying, the state of being more than full. Okay, okay. I, I can see that. The state of being more than full. It's properly a headache as a seizure of pain from drunkenness. Okay. Debauchery. So, you know, kind of just ODing, man. Kind of overdoing it. And, you know, like I said again, once I, you know, I jumped on the scale. I'm like, okay, all right, bet. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel better. I'm not going to front. I, I feel different. I can see my, my you know, my, my, my stomach done slim down. <laughs> you know? So it makes a difference. And I'm, you know, only like eight days in, nine days, I think it is. I've been kind of marking it. I'm going to keep up with it. But, you know, I wanted to do it for 30 days and just see what it was going to do, you know, while I'm, you know, continuing to do the, the exercise. Because, you know, really, you, you know, if you can't get to the gym, at least try and get you a nice walk in. You know, it's nice out. I even like to go walking in the winter. It don't even make no difference. But get you a nice walk in. Um, it's all kinds of recipes online. That you can get into, you know, you can just put in recipes for vegetables, recipes for fruit or meatless this or meatless that if you want to give that a try or go. But I mean, I, we do as a people, Jake eat a lot. We consume a lot of meat, whether it's beef and, and it doesn't even have any, you know, because because Jake don't even have his wisdom, knowledge and understanding, man. They they not only they, they OD on pork, I mean, um, fish. You know, a lot of the times, Jake, Jake will eat fish, but they, you know, they eat a lot more beef. 
and a lot more pork than anything. And I guess you got to throw in chicken. <laughs> but, you know, Esau Edom is out here throwing all kinds of shit in the food. You know, of course, this man is doing lab grown chicken now. You know, that's something that um brother's been speaking on as well. So we don't even know when and how they're going to even implement that. You might be walking down the aisle and thinking that you're grabbing a pack of chicken wings or a whole chicken, you know, because I'm not even sure how they're actually growing it. Like, to what extent are you growing a whole full chicken? <laughs> you know, because, you know, you can go to the supermarket, you can get a whole chicken. I used to do it like that. Actually, it was cheaper and you get a little more bang for your buck, you know, because you can bust him, you know, just bust it up and just like a, a whole chicken, you know, like. They're just really pricing you for cutting it up for you when you can do it yourself or you can just cook the whole chicken. You can, you know, I've done that before. You know, you got to clean it, of course, you know what I'm saying? Clean it out, but, but you know, and you can do a whole chicken. But anyway, with thing, the way things are going right now, uh, not trying to trust any of that no more, man. Because um, I know my uncle... He has been in the hospital a little over a week now. He was just supposedly been going just to just, you know, get a checkup. And they're supposed to do something, you know, a test or something like that. And they kept him, man. He's been there for over a week now. He's supposed to just went, little appointment, no more than an hour, come back. And he's lost all the, the strength in his legs and in his arms. And I have been telling him, like, you know, you have to change your diet up, man. Because, you know, he, he, he basically... He's lived his whole life off fast food. He's lived his, lived his entire life off fast food. You know, a lot of canned goods, a lot of TV dinners, a lot of, um, you know, just shit that's just not good for you, man. You know, even from a, wor a worldly standpoint, <laughs> you know, even, you know, a lot of Jake that's not into this truth, you know, eat pretty okay, decent because Jake has, you know, they're trying, you know, there's a lot of vanity going on, a lot of vainness. A lot of looking in the mirror and taking selfies. Look at me, you know, and Jake will try and get healthier, but it's all for the wrong reasons. They're not doing it because of what the Lord told us as far as it's true. And also, let me get this too before I end out. Let's go over to chapter 38, Sirach 38. It says, the Lord has created medicines out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them. So, you know... It's a lot of different healing properties to um to vegetables and, and fruits and things of that nature, man. You know, you can you can say you may have a should you can like I said, if you can damn near YouTube almost anything, like you know, I'm having a problem with this. What kind of fruits or veggies will get rid of, you know, or what kind of fruits or veggies will help me with you, know, you can just put in weight loss. What what kind of fruits or vegetables will help me with um just whatever, man. Shit, you they gonna it's gonna be a video gonna pop up. Now, do you just run with anything that you see on there? Nah, you want to use discretion, you know. And I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not giving no medical advice. I'm just saying that we know scripturally and believe scripturally that the Lord gave us all kinds of herbs, fruits, vegetables, you know, th just you know things out of the earth that will heal you right up with any problem that you almost have. We know that. We believe that by faith. You know what I'm saying? Because we believe in the scriptures. So, you know, I just wanted to just touch on that for a hot sec. I didn't want to keep it too long, you know, but I just wanted to just give my little testimony as to how I felt about not um, consuming any meat for the past. I don't know. It may be got to be about nine days or so, eight days or so. But hey, I just wanted to just touch on that, man. I'm feeling great. <laughs> I mean, I'm almost at a point now where I'm just like, you know. I might just want to stick with it. And, oh, and also, I forgot. It's, I'm sure it has to do with, you know, the um, the intermediate fast as well. Matter of fact, I didn't go into that because that's what I've been doing as well. You know, the apostles been talking about that as um, too. Let me see. Uh, oh, there they go. I ain't even had to put it all in. Not sure if I pronounced that right. Intermediate. Mentant fasting explained, right? What well, they got this in the men's health? Let's see. Seven intermittent fasting benefits that are that aren't weight loss. See, 
Don't have all, the, all that to do with the weight loss of it. It says most people try fasting with one goal in mind, losing weight. But science has also discovered health benefits linked to whole day or to alternative and time restricted fasting. Says um, Carolyn Williams, PhD. Let's just get to what they're talking about here. Salakia, uh. Salakia. Yeah, I've been finding that I'm not really not hungry neither. I've been doing it for a minute now, and you know. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's do this part right here. It says, while more research is needed to determine if fasting is effective for long-term dieting, there is no debate that it works in the short term. By refraining from eating for at least 12 hours, ideally 16 hours, your body starts burning through glucose, glucose and can begin tapping fat for fuel, explains Williams. Studies show that you can expect to lose between 3 and 8% of your body weight in as few as three weeks. <laughs> and I think, hey, I didn't even know, you know, there you go. There you have it. That's the reason why we, we you know, we got to look into things, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm kind of feeling that way. And it hasn't even been three weeks yet. It says, compared to calorie restriction diets, intermittent fasting tends to trigger more belly fat loss. I, I just said that. I can, I can see it and feel it. The research suggests, anecdotally, William says the sense is greater she senses greater energy. I just said that. I mean, for sure. Greater energy and improved clarity of thought. That too. Here are some other poten potential upsides of, of um, this particular fast. They got a... Uh, says um, it may help maintain muscle. Uh, let me see. What else they got? It targets belly fat. It's, it's got there... Or it reduces diabetes risk, which is a great benefit. Because you know a lot of our people, man, are, are, are stricken with that. Lower high blood pressure. Or a lot of our people are stricken with that. Oh, it, it fights inflammation. A lot of our people are, um, are hit with that as well. And what else they got? It reduces oxidative stress. Hmm. All right, all right. Yeah, let me read a little bit of this. It says, even when you don't lose weight while on the, um, this intermediate fast fasting routine, your cells may be benefit from extra protection. The study assigned men with pre-diabetes to either a six-hour early eating period where they could eat only from 8 a.m. until dinner before 2 p.m., fasting the rest of the day or 12 hours feeding, feeding period. At the end of five weeks, the researchers found that the men on the early time-restricted fast improved blood pressure and insulin sensitivity, as expected, but also improved resistance to oxidative stress, where unstable molecules called free radicals can damage proteins and DNA. Okay, all right. And then one of the, the next benefits they have is um, it may help you live longer. Of course, if you don't have those particular types of diseases, <laughs> I mean, that's, that, that's a... Um, you know, that's a no-brainer. What else do they have? Um, now they have a thirty, the thirty-day fat. They have a thirty-day fasting challenge. So they actually, this is um, an article for Men's Health. I'm not sure how old it is. Well, this was 2020. So you know, I'm sure it's, it's probably some more stories out here. But you can check into this. But I mean, hey, you can't go wrong with some weight loss. You can't go wrong with losing some damn belly. <laughs> you can't go wrong with um. You know, uh, uh, the oxidative stress or, or you know, um, your, the shit lowering your, your blood pressure and things of that nature. Clear, clear thinking, man. More energy. Because I'm telling you, that I, that's how I feel. And then when you do eat, it don't even take that much. That's what I'm noticing. It don't take that much. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, you know, I was stuffing myself overall <laughs> before. But it's like, you know, if your belly is, is shrinking, 
then of course you're going to feel a lot fuller a lot um um quicker you know or with, with less food i should say so you know and generally i mean you can get fruits and vegetables for decent prices you know but if you you know you're going organic you want to get the best that you can it can it can be a little expensive but i mean it, it's all types of alternatives but i like to get you know like beans you know myself because i always like beans anyway you know uh I normally would just do that in a crock pot, cut up an onion, cut up bell peppers, cut up things, you know, and, and kind of toss it over in there and let the crock pot do its thing. I put it like a little cap or two caps of um, olive oil, you know, after I let the beans soak. You know, you, you know, you want the beans that's in the bag, you know, so to speak, you know, not the ones that's out of the can. You know, let them soak, rinse them down real good. If you have a crock pot, because you don't have to watch it like that, you can put it on, you know, let it go for eight hours and it'll... On the slow cook, slow cook part, or you can do it um, for four hours on the high cook. It depends on what, what kind of um, cooker you got, though, if you have one. And those are pretty cheap, too. Those are not that much at um, Walmart. You can get a nice, decent one, you know, and keep. Because, you know, I, I, I do uh, kale in it. I do, um, I'll put uh, cabbage, um, greens, anything greens, you know what I'm saying? Turnips, mustards, whatever, you know green cabbage purple cabbage it's a lot of stuff out here man just roll through the the the, the uh you know the aisle at uh walmart man where you know the fresh water is kind of spraying over the stuff <laughs> you know so you can find and just just put together ideas man because there's nothing to go on like i said go on youtube and um look up recipes man it's all you you'll be surprised you'll be surprised and there's so many things that you can you can make that that's just like it has meat as well you know what i'm saying like, it's nothing to do with meatless lasagna if you like, um, you know, pasta, so to speak, or, you know, meatless, whatever. Most things that you, you know, I wouldn't go with no Beyond Burger or nothing. We ain't, we ain't doing none of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't no telling what the hell that is that they're trying to portray as if it's, it, it looks and have the texture of meat, but it's really not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I wouldn't rock like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but like I said, you know, just pray to you. How about you? I was shy. Give you some ideas. And he'll give you some ideas, man. But and just from there, psh, go on YouTube. I got a couple of channels that um I kind of follow. I need to get more into, but, you know, you can get a recipe or two. It's just something you want to try different. And you can just go in there and get you a nice good recipe, man, and put it together. And and and, and do that intermediate fast with it, man. And then everything going to turn out perfectly, I think. Because, like I said, I'm seeing it, man. So I'm going to give it this next... Uh... Like I said, it's been about nine days, ten days so far. I'm gonna give it another twenty days because I just, I really was just gonna you know try and do it for these thirty days. It, it, you know, at first it was kind of I'm still kind of I'm kind of coming out of the point of it. It was a little hard at first, you know, <laughs> but now it's like you know I'm, I'm I'm at a point where it's like you know, and then you want to use self control anyway. If you if you you know start to get hungry, you can feel your stomach kind of. You know, all you got to do is fight it. You just like, all right, well, I'd have made it to eight hours. All I need is four more hours at least to get to 12 hours. Or, you know, I know the apostle, I think he said he'd done 21, 21 hours. And then he eats. And then, you know, I know the apostle Gabar, I think he says he, he, he doesn't eat after six o'clock in the afternoon. With his, you know, you know, so it's been... Brothers that's been doing 12 hours, 15 hours, 18 hours. It's pretty much about your average on it. So, um, you know, hey, man, <laughs> it's something to get into. It's something to do. But this is something that, that is coming straight from our apostles, which is a beautiful thing, which is coming, you know, through the Holy Spirit, you know. That's the Spirit, you know what I'm saying, coming through our apostles to let us know to take care of ourselves better. Because that's scriptural. Anyway, why would you want to be... Especially with Esau Edom's um, method of um, med medication, <laughs> you trying to, we trying our hardest to stay away from that man and his doctors, for real for real. So with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.